What is going on everybody? I'm gonna look at that, not that. Um, today, today I'm gonna run through my supplement stack. We've run out, we've run out of a lot of shit over the last couple of weeks. And so yesterday I went down to Anytime Fitness and bought my, my supplement stack. Now these are the things I use religiously. I've used these products for probably two years at least now, if not three, and I stand by them. I love the taste, they do what I need them to do. I am very confident in the quality of the product. And so with that being said, let me show you what my current supplement stack is. No steroids, of course. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Hey! All right, guys. Let's let's line them up. Let's get it. Let's get a, uh, a screenshot, shall we? Get a, a thumbnail. Sorry for the YouTube video. First, what do you reckon? Like that. This side. That side. That should be good enough. All right. So as far as supplements go, guys, I'm pretty simple. You know. Most of my supplements are based around either BCAs or protein um, or caffeine. So, as far as a protein powder goes, you know, I've had every single one. Honestly, guys, I've tried everything. And the one that I keep coming back to is MTS Whey. I love the taste. Mark Lobliner, who is, you know, I used to think he was natural, but he's come out to say he's on TRT. But yeah, so he's not natural, but um, <laughs> I definitely... I definitely trust Mark Lobliner. He's he's uh, he's the the CEO of MTS Nutrition, um, and obviously makes this uh, whey protein, which is called Machine Whey. Now this is my favourite flavour in peanut butter cookies and cream, and as you can imagine, it is absolutely delicious. Like you don't even need milk. That was one one thing I used to always say to people. Oh, do you do you do you mix your protein powder with water or milk? And if they said water, I'd like screw my face up. I'd be like, ugh, that's disgusting. The fact remains, I mean, if you get a really nice tasting, like fluffy, thick sort of protein, you can mix it with water or milk, it really doesn't matter. And so, yeah, MTS whey, I mean, you know what whey protein is, guys. The way I use protein is one of two ways. One of three ways, okay? Three, three ways I will pretty much always use protein. I, I'll have probably at least one or two scoops a day, every day. The reason behind that is different, okay? First scenario, I put it in a shake, whether that be in the morning or post-workout. Second scenario is I'll mix it with something to sweeten it, to make it taste better. I might put a scoop in some oats, I might put a scoop in some Greek yogurt to, t to you know, flavor it. And the third scenario is if I get to the end of the day or you know, I, I know I'm not going to have an opportunity to take in some protein throughout the day. I will take a couple of scoops of protein to just to just to bump that protein amount up. You know, if I'm if I'm looking to have 150 grams of protein per day, you know, to eat that solely from from sources of meat um, and fish and eggs and stuff can be quite hard sometimes. So if I'm at 200 grams of protein at the end of the day, I know I need another 50 grams minimal carbs, minimal fats, I will have a couple of scoops of protein and that is how I use my protein powder. Now, as well as that, we've got BCAs. Now BCAs are pretty much, they are protein, but they're in a micronized form. As well as that, we've got two, two types of BCAs, okay? Core ABC, which is an Australian gummy snake flavor, which is absolutely delicious. And then we've got this one, Amino Energy, from Optimum Nutrition in watermelon flavor. Now these two products I've also used for the last couple of years. Actually probably this one I've used for about a year, this one I've used for fucking honestly like four years now. And basically they're both BCAs with a little bit added in to each of them to make it a little bit better. So as far as the ABC we've got, it's called ABC <laughs> because we've got amino acids, beta alanine and citrulline malate. Now this is probably, you know, best used as an intra-workout to be fair with those added ingredients in there because beta alanine is going to help with explosiveness it's going to help with power citrulline malate is a nitric oxide booster in the body so if you want 
added pumps, if you want added strength, and you want protein through, the, through amino acids, this would be your product. But basically, I don't worry about those two ingredients. I worry about the amino acids, and I will drink this throughout the day. Um, the beta alanine content is not high enough to really give you any tingles or anything like that, because that is a side effect that people can experience from beta alanine, but I don't on this product. Um, so, you know, honestly, the taste is so fucking good. It's uh, Australian gummy snake. They had to call it that because they couldn't call it killer python, which is what it's it's uh, those Allen's lollies that you get here in Australia. This is what this is flavored after. All it's really doing is making my water that I drink throughout the day taste better, as well as drip feeding protein to me throughout the day. It's like you can't you, you know you can't get a better scenario than that. A really nice tasting cool drink that's giving you protein that you need throughout the day. It's fantastic. So. I've got another product that's similar called Amino Energy. This is amino acids as well as some caffeine in there. So if I want a nice tasting drink with protein that can actually pick me up as well, like give me a little bit of a boost, I will have this as opposed to this. This has no caffeine in it. This one has caffeine in it. So, you know, first thing in the morning, if I don't feel like a coffee because I, I feel like it's going to taste like shit and I want something sweet, I will have amino energy, that is when I'll use that first thing in the morning or as a pre-workout, obviously I want that caffeine once more. I'll probably drink caffeine three times a day, first thing in the morning, maybe halfway through the day and then pre-workout. So once or twice per day I will use this as my source of caffeine. Unless I have an energy drink, unless I have a scoop of fucking um, pre-workout from a mate or something like that, if it's all up to me, that will be what I'll use. Now, as well as that, we've got this product, which I really enjoyed, and it's actually empty, so I've got to get some more, but I'm just, I'm just um, thinking about it at the moment, because it is quite expensive. Don't know if I really do need <laughs> a pump, a pump like Rich Piana's, um, which, which didn't happen, but it, d it definitely does give you a good pump. It's, it's basically, yeah, overdosed nitric oxide booster so it's got a lot of ingredients in there that probably will get another container of this but the fact is is that it's 80 it's like 70 bucks and you get 30 servings and you know I was doing how many scoops was I doing I was doing I was doing like a one and a half scoops or two scoops per fucking workout so you know that's getting really expensive it's nah, probably not to be honest so I might just leave that and then and then there's one ingredient that I have had a have had a love-hate relationship with uh, for quite a number of years now and I love it because I love the effects it gives you it makes me feel nice and tight it gives me a couple of extra reps in the gym but I hate the fact that you have to take it every motherfucking day and I'm not good with things like that you know I, I forget things but recently I've been pretty good I'm nearly at the end of my other container of creatine so we've got a brand new one and um, that's just gonna sit on the shelf now and wait to be opened. So that is how we're looking for the sups, guys. We've got something for a pump. We've got creatine for added fullness. It's it's the most important fucking supplement. It's the most tried and true supplement for a natural lifter, creatine, honestly. You know, if you're not using it, it you're pretty stupid, to be honest. Like, some people do get side effects. I don't know how your gut and your, your, your stomach is going to deal with creatine. Most likely fine, because creatine is naturally produced in the body anyway. This is just additional creatine to get the maximum benefit out of it. Anyways, something for the pump, something for the fullness. We've got amino energy for protein throughout the day, as well as my pre-workout of choice at the moment, because it's caffeinated. We've got Core ABC, which is an amazing tasting product. I love it. Honestly, guys, I could drink this all day, and I pretty much do. Decently priced, a hundred scoops for about a hundred dollars. It's only a dollar a scoop. It's a dollar per drink. You can sh you can fill up a whole shaker, put one scoop in there, and it's flavored really, really nicely. So, not a bad product. And then we've got the big one, the emptiest way. So, this is what we're looking at, guys. Cost me about honestly about hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. I think it was like fifty, and this was about thirty. Um, and then I got a little bit of a discount, so I think I spent about 250 bucks on these four things. And this will last me ages. You know, what's, how, many, how many servings this got? It's got 60 servings. If I use two a day, 
which I don't every single day, but if I do use two a day, that's one month. If I use two scoops of this a day, that's 50 days. If I use two scoops of this a day, that's a month. And if I use a serve of this a day, that's like four months. So we've got at least a month, if not two, worth of supplements here for $250. <sighs> you know, is that expensive? I don't know. I spend I spend 200 bucks a week on food easily, so it's like 50 bucks a week extra or 60 bucks a week extra on supplements. 50 bucks a week extra. It's not that bad, to be honest, in my opinion. But anyways, that's just a, a few words of wisdom on the old supplements from me to you this morning. And uh, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are out there. Um, it's a nice day here in Alice Springs. I might show you, actually. Should I? I will. And let's talk about something more exciting than supplements. I am about to get my backyard finally fucking done, man. I'm going to get my backyard finished. All cleared. All done. So... It's, it's going to be great. I can't fucking wait. I've been looking at this mess, <laughs> this overgrown mess for, yeah, probably nearly 18 months now. And um, it's definitely time to do something about it. So we're going to have bark going along the side and along the back. We're going to have mini citrus trees along there. We're going to have grasses along the back and the side. We're going to have a nice corrugated iron fence in the same color as this one going along the back. The pavers are pretty much going to be the only thing that stays, that tree's going, and um, it's just going to be really nice and neat, and I can't fucking wait to get it, to be honest, I really can't wait, it's going to, it's going to finish off the property, and then, what I can do then, is put myself in a good position to rent it out, easily, if I want to, because at the moment, you know, yeah, the house is tidy, it's nice and clean, but you walk out the back, and we've got a fucking jungle, so, um, I really need to get this sorted. I've got a guy coming. I've got a quote. It's all good to go. And not only that, but NT has a home improvement scheme at the moment where whatever you spend on your... You've got one chance to spend up to... I think it's up to five grand on improving your property. Certain tradies obviously have... Certain tradies... Certain trades, obviously. One of them is landscaping. So whatever I spend on this half of it will be subsidized by the government which is fantastic so I can't complain with that I'm gonna get it done I'll show you guys obviously when it gets done I might set up like a time lapse or something which would be pretty cool but yeah that's it guys that's it I want to before I do go I want to apologize for looking over there too much I really want to look in this and what I should do is actually turn the screen around just like that so without further ado I'm gonna let you guys go now um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a day off. It seems to be the only time I do make videos is when I've got a day off. But that's okay. Because I feel good. I feel positive. I feel like the day before I've smashed a good day of work. I've gone to the gym. I wake up on my days off positive. And that's all you can ask for. So with all that being said guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, train hard, eat well, all that good stuff. I'm out.